Hi, everybody. Diane, Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. And I wanted to talk about embodying what you want and not just thinking about it and projecting it out into your future. Because if you project it out into the future, you're not owning it right now. And tomorrow never shows up. So take a couple deep breaths as I'm talking. I've been doing this for so long. To me, it makes sense and it's easy. But even my daughters have said, some of the things you say, nobody gets. So I'm trying to break it down. People want to be happy. I'll be happy when I, when I get a boyfriend, when I make more money, when I get to move out of this damn place. And that's extending your happiness out into a future and not embodying it right now. So create some goals and see, feel, taste, and just know that it is happening now. That you are that that you want. And then we work on it. We practice. It's a goal. But I want you to see it and feel it like it is already here. That you are moving and enjoying a new place and how it feels. And the colors that you want to decorate. And how it's going to feel to meet new people. If you want to relocate. That's one or two little steps. If you want to make more money, because money is energy. Money is like oxygen. It's all around. And the people that receive good money, they run a higher vibration. It's not that they're smarter than you. They just understand energy. And their mindset is completely different than possibly yours. When you worry, and I know there's a lot of worry in people out there, when you feel small, and trust me, small people are not fun to hang out with. When you're practical, it is just a dead end. When you don't believe that you deserve it, then you cut all channels off. So now that you get to know what not to do, let's talk about what to do. Love yourself. Do things that make you happy. You can go to the gym or work out or go for a walk. That's going to make your body feel more alive. Possibly get off Facebook and all that stuff. I have on my phone, no, no games. I don't have TikTok. Why? Because I want to spend more time with Diane, with myself than I want to do in the outside world. I'm not going to compete with them. So that's one thing to do. Get off the social media. It's a waste of time and energy. Drink lots of water, of course. It's our first medicine. Go to bed earlier. Wake up a little earlier. Now, I know Netflix can be a tad of a uh, addiction. Trust me, I have Netflix. But I also want to have boundaries with everything that is around me. Set your alarm on your phone. So if you need to go to bed at 10 o'clock, you normally go to bed at midnight, one, two, set your alarm at 945, TV goes off no matter where you are in any movie. I mean, if, if you want to change, you've got to change. And you may say to me, oh, I don't want to do that. Then fine, don't complain. But if you want more, the universe is going to ask you to do more in the right areas and not more in the negative areas. Eating a little bit healthier, of course, always makes sense. Putting your chin up is phenomenal when it comes to raising your vibration. Get that back straight. Your chin is up. You're looking at things and not just looking down. When I watch people, which I do often, if their heads are down and just kind of looking around, 
I know that they're more in a negative and not in a positive. And when your chin is up, you're going to notice more. You're going to have more to see, more to enjoy. You're actually going to be able to be of higher service for others. I'm always looking at how I can help somebody. Grab a door for them. Help them at Home Depot load something. A couple dollars at the gas station. There's so many people struggling right now. When I see them buying gas with coins, I normally throw in a couple fives or tens. If I see somebody at lunch and they're in front of me and I have no idea who they are and their card was declined and this has happened, I instantly put my card in, hit the buttons that I need and step right back out. I'm not asking for anything back. And do I need a thank you from them? It'd be nice. But why I'm doing this? Because the universe, whatever belief system you have, they're watching you. And I want you to tip more. What's another dollar? Always tip. And then throw in that extra dollar. And please know this, that nobody is here to give you anything free. I know it kind of sounds weird because I'm saying give out, give out, give out. But when people feel that they need something free, it is lack of. And I want to change that in you. These are all just programs from your past. You are not born to be this person. You have been conditioned to be this person. I want you to be happier, prosperous, more self-love so that you can give more love out, more kindness, more free, more playful. And this is how to do it. Give to others. Throw down that extra dollar. Look to see how you can help somebody. And it's just random acts of, of kindness. But no, it is a natural state that I want you to be in. And this is how I am. People have said, you're the nicest person I've ever met. And I'm like, okay, thank you. I can also be on the opposite of that. I don't just have people take advantage of me. So this isn't about that. What it is, is about paying attention to people. And if you can help them, if you can offer, then play full out and give them as much as you can. The universe will give it back to you and more some. Why am I kind? Because I know that the universe is watching me. The universe knows what I can give and the universe is watching me, noticing if I'm giving what I can really give or if I'm I stingy. Am I negative? Am I not paying attention? Do you see that vibration versus I can just give? I had a shoulder um, story, but I still stopped at Home Depot and helped a man load a bunch of wood. In that moment, my shoulder was fine. And so it's not about what I need, what I need, what I need from you. It's how can I give to you? And it could be a kind word. And now that you're going to start focusing, it's like, how can I be kind? How can I be helpful? How can I freely give? Whenever you see a small child, see their beauty, see their innocence, see their playfulness and smile at them notice, notice them. And that will make them feel good because you're projecting beautiful energy, healing energy to them. And then the parents will see that. And to me, that is just like the beautiful gift. Didn't cost me anything. What I, what in those moments when I do that is that I am in consciousness and not just at the store paying attention, get out, of, get out of my way, what am I doing? I believe in you and I know you can do so much more. And I know it's from the past, but you're bringing that past into your future and it is lowering your future. That's why you don't change. 
chin up, notice people, be of service. There's a lot of other people like me. I want you to be like us. Kind, fun, playful, helpful, sassy. And I want them to see you and get excited to see you, feel good that you're in that room, in that presence, and that they want to come over to you because they're going to get a good feel feeling. So many people come to me and say, like, oh, so nice to see you. And I'm like, thank you, my love. Always nice to see you. And do you see that that exchange now is a healing to a healing, a gift to a gift, empowerment, and raising up both of our vibrations? If you don't have anything positive to say, to say get out there and find something. Because if all you're doing is complaining and whining, bitching and moaning, then stay away from people. There's this one place that I go um, quite often. And one gentleman that's probably 65 said to me, put his hand on my hand and said, it's always a pleasure to see you walk in. You're always having a smile. You're always kind. You're always nice. And I said, thank you. Because if I can't show up and be this, I should stay home. And I don't want staying home being an option. And if you need help changing, creating a new you, developing a new empowered you, that's what I do for a living. I want to raise your vibration. I want you to write healthier, more exciting goals and actually get to your goals. And that's going to need a higher you. I've had two near-death experiences, one at 17 and one at 18. And my mind was so sharp in those moments that I wrote one story. I will not die this way when I was 17 and I lived. At 18, this isn't a issue. And my body kept hearing this isn't an issue. I owned it all that I thought about was that this was not a issue and at 18 years old I surprised three doctors that I lived I had a massive head concussion my skull was completely cracked open blood clot over the left forehead indented forehead and they said there's no possible way you could have lived and I'm like mm, it's no issue and they said, had we seen you that night, we would have put two plates in your head, in your skull, drained the blood clot, taken care of the massive concussion, reconstructed my forehead. They said, but in the last two and a half weeks of the accident, everything is repairing and we're not going to do anything. And I said, yes, I know this isn't an issue. Now, a weak mind, a feared mind, a scared mind, a undeveloped mind would have said, oh, am I going to die? Am I dying? Am I going to be crippled in any way? And then you would have entertained those options. And all that you entertain can come into truth. And at 18 years old, I said, this is not an option, period. And I held space for that. And my body marinated in that and knew that if it wasn't an issue, then start repairing. Get rid of this. And this is what I want to do for you. I want you to get your mind to be more developed. I love working with athletes because they are conditioned. They're trained to go that extra. And then there's a lot of other people that start to stand up and instantly fall down, defeated, well before they got into the game. And then they wonder why their life isn't all that great. And it's just like, uh, I can tell you. 
I can tell you again and again and again and again, but if that is what you continue to choose, hide behind and expect, then there is not going to be any change. So I'm going to get tricky through NLP, hypnosis, and awake state, or a deep state, questioning your automatics, questioning your belief system of you and of the universe. I'm going to start questioning them and turning them around upside down all over until you're so confused. And then I'm going to lay down what truth is right in front of you that you have given me of what you want. And I get rid of the trauma the doubt, the fear, the poor me mentality. Can I help you? Absolutely all day long. Can you help yourself by reaching out? That's the real question. I've been doing this for well over 30 years. I study almost daily. The last three days, I've done probably seven hours of meditation, designing more for myself and for others. Because what I do automatically affects me and then it affects others same with you your mindset positive or negative will affect people around you i want to be known for light and love fun and playfulness she's the one that's fun that i laugh a lot that i joke around because she jokes a lot i want that for you when you want that for you and can you do this? Absolutely. I'm not even worried about it. The real question is, will you give it to yourself? And until that answer is yes, life may be a struggle. And the second you say yes and reach out to me, your healing will automatically begin. And I will be there to serve you at the highest level that I can. So thank you for listening. Diane Gazine at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. I'm passionate about energy and what I do, and I'm passionate about helping people. Atma Namaste and thank you.